Well, the road to the future is long. I mean, we, we acknowledge that. A lot of people are anxious to declare that VR is, is, is a winner or a loser uh, based off of what we know right now, but we don't see it that way. We see it as a journey where we just need to help communicate and to teach uh, and to educate people. The content that we're here to show today, uh, I think you'll see is much more long form. It's closer to what we would call AAA content on other platforms that can last for hours as opposed to minutes. Uh, being able to touch things and grasp things and interact with things in ways that we've never been able to do before. We believe we're able to do that because we have the best hand presence and VR presence on the market. Traditionally, you know, players are, are kind of tied in holding a gamepad or another input device. Um, and they're controlling something else. It might be a character, uh, it might be a camera, um, it's something else in a manufactured world. So one of the key challenges for us, uh, dealing with VR in general, especially with touch, is to make the interface and the experience so seamless um, that it feels like natural life. People expect their hands to work in certain ways, uh, and I think with our controllers it really lends to that. So when people pick up our touch controllers, the first thing they try and do is act naturally. Um, so they'll try and pick up things with their finger or their hands. Um, and one of the challenges we've had is that if we don't match expectations of how people think their hand should work, um, there's a disconnect with the content. It pulls them out of that experience. We see VR as a social experience, and we'd be foolish to not leverage our, our, our Facebook roots. How are you doing with bullets? We have four games here that are very much social experiences. We believe, we truly do believe and, and know that VR is the next computing platform. So the challenge for us is to accelerate how quickly we can get millions and millions and millions of users into VR. Um, there are two barriers to that right now that we see. One is price and one is having content. And we think that, you know, at the event here today, uh, we've addressed those two straight on. Uh, the cost of a PC to run Rift is half of what it was when we first launched Rift a year ago. So we've had a reduction in price on both Rift and Touch to make it easier for people to get into that. Uh, for people that have Rift, they can now pick up Touch for, for less, uh, a lower price. Uh, on the content side, um, you know, this year we are leaning heavily into content of, again, um, large AAA types of titles where there is something to do and these will ask you hours and hours. Uh, so we believe that consumers, uh, that is definitely what they want and will help them ease them into, into the market.